Okay. I'm out here doing some chores. We're in a blizzard right now. Oh, darn. Phone just fell down here. Hold on a minute. Bugger. Bugger, bugger, bugger. Okay, we'll do this again. There we go now. Um, the snow is landing on the phone, so that's why my picture is slowly disappearing. Um, kind of a neat effect, though. Anyway, uh, today, with this weather, it reminded me of something from when I had my apartment in Perth, above the Royal Bank in my hometown. I was there for 28 years. But there was a period of time, uh, probably two or three years, where there was a, a guy used to come every day. He was kind of a, I guess you could call him a hobo or whatever. And he used to come and stand on the street across from my apartment. He used to spend a lot of time there, just standing there. And uh, he didn't have a whole lot. And it didn't matter what time of the year it was or what the weather was like. He always wore these heavy insulated coveralls. Um, stinking hot day in the summertime, it didn't matter. He wore these heavy insulated coveralls. And um, he used to fish around in the gutters and whatnot looking for cigarette butts. He'd smoke cigarette butts he picked up off the street and stuff, you know. And uh, anyway, but the man, I'll tell you, despite his condition, which obviously wasn't good, he was an optimist. Because no matter what the weather, when you walked past him, he'd always greet you with a smile. And he would say, beautiful day. That's what he used to just, that's how he sounded. He'd say, hey, great to see you. Beautiful day. And it didn't matter. It could be like this. It could be pouring rain or it could be sunny and nice. It didn't matter. It was a beautiful day. That's quite the effect. They, with the hat, look a bit like a pirate. Look like the ghost of a pirate here. <laughs> Almost, you know. Anyway, that's what he'd say. Beautiful day. People used to call him Beautiful Day. Nobody knew his name, so people used to do that. got to be his nickname, Beautiful Day. But anyway, um, I remember another thing he used to do, as if it was pouring rain, and somebody walked past him, he'd greet them, and he would say, Great day for frogs and ducks. I remember that. Great day for ducks and frogs, or whatever, you know, he'd say. <laughs> anyway, I remember that fella. He obviously wasn't in a good way. He obviously had a lot of uh, things on his plate that weren't all that great. But he was a perpetual optimist. I think we could learn something from somebody like that, you know? Even the person in life who we think is the most insignificant, basically the bum, wow, <laughs> with the snow falling on the phone, this is quite an effect, quite artistic. Hey, there's my hand, ah, 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 anyway, e even, um, even somebody who uh, people would tend to look down upon because he's grubbing around in the gutter looking for cigarette butts to smoke or discarded, you know, cigarette butts or whatever. Even somebody like that can teach us something. Everybody on the planet has a purpose. That's the bottom line. Anyway, video size limit reached. We'll see you later. This is the ghost of Blackbeard, I guess, signing